In Godot, the scene tree is at the core of every game. The tree is a structure where every node may or may not have children nodes. The root node is the topmost node in the scene tree. When you define a scene in Godot, you are essentially defining a blueprint or a template of nodes that have a specific structure. And when you instantiate the scene, you are making a fresh copy of this node structure and attaching it to the scene tree. All nodes in your game are descendants of the root node. This includes special nodes like auto loads. Also, the top node of your main scene will normally be a direct child of the root node of your scene tree. To view your tree structure, you can run your game and then click on remote in the scene dock. This will show you the nodes that are currently attached to the tree. Godot provides a number of ways to access specific nodes in the scene tree. In this video, we will focus on how to use the getNode function to access other nodes. GetNode allows you to access a specific node by providing its path in the tree. There are two types of paths to a node. There is the relative path and there is the absolute path. The relative path is a path to a node relative to the current node. For example, assume we have this structure where the current node has two children. If we are using get node through the current node, then we can access any of the child nodes by passing their name as an argument. You can use print tree to get the paths of other nodes relative to the node that invoked the function. In this case, it is the node called current. The absolute path is a path to a node from the root node of the scene tree. And it always starts with a forward slash followed by the path to the node through the tree. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.